Hey guys, what's poppin'? Today we have a special Irelia guide that everyone should be able to understand. I'm going to cover tips and tricks, latest runes, advanced but easy to learn things in the lane for Irelia and so on that you sure did not know before. This is literally the latest guide you can find on YouTube and besides that, I one trick this champion so yeah, this is definitely going to be my best guide. So sit back, relax and enjoy! <laughs> Alright, so since my other league guides are doing very very well and a lot of you guys like the format and the way I cover things in order, I'll do the same for this Irelia guide. However, I haven't made a single guide for the season 9 but your boy's back and if you end up liking this video, there is much more to come. Okay, so first of all, you should all ask yourself, why would you want to play Irelia? Does she fit your playstyle at all? She's mainly played in the top lane as a bruiser slash assassin, but can also be played in the mid lane due to her kit just being busted. <laughs> so do you like flashy plays, aesthetic cherry blossom style combat, that's like super hype and so on, a champion that can literally do anything as long as you play her correctly? Well, if that's what you want, you should definitely go for Irelia. However, be aware that her gameplay is very rage inducing since she is not very forgiving, meaning you're not LeBlanc, if you mess up you can just go back where you were. Irelia is an all in type champion, so when you go in you have to make sure you hit everything you need to hit in order to get your reset. It's not to mention that you have to put a lot and I mean a lot of games into learning how to pilot her properly Let alone be nuts with her So one more time if you're willing to put in all that work into a champion when you can even pick a simpler versions like Jax Once again, I'm not saying Jax is easy by any means But it's a lot more simpler than Irelia and they both do similar jobs So as I said if you're willing to put in all that work into Irelia even though there are simpler versions out there This champion is for you First off, we'll cover her abilities and since a lot of you guys know what she does in a way, I'll also include tips and tricks that I mentioned before with the certain abilities. So this will make it more interesting for the guys that generally know what she does and what her abilities do and how is she played and stuff instead of just making tips and tricks like in another segment just to save you guys some time. First we have her passive which is Ionian Fever where Irelia gets a stack every time she hits any of her abilities on an enemy champion. Also these stacks expire and the ways to prolong them is to attack an enemy champion, attack bigger creeps such as jungle camps, rift her old dragon baron and so on or execute a minion with your Q. Also the more stacks you have the more attack speed you'll get and when you reach 5th stack which is the last one you'll gain up to 12% attack speed increase and bonus on hit magic damage. That's the part that everyone knows, now the part that some of you don't know is that if you ult someone you'll obviously get a stack because you've hit your spell on the enemy champion as described, however if the enemy tries to escape and hits your ulti, you know the blades that drop as shown here on the screen, you'll actually get another stack. Afterwards we have Irelia's Q Blood Surge. This is that dashing ability that makes Irelia who she is. It is a primary source of her mobility, very simple. Keep in mind that it does bonus damage to the minions and heals you. So nice tip would be to try and look for the minions in the battle or in 1v1s and use them to your advantage to heal overall. Also, it doesn't have to be only minions, you can of course heal off of enemy champions. You just gotta make sure they're marked because if you mark someone with either your E or your ulti, the cooldown of your Q will be resetted as well. As I previously mentioned, uh, executing a target with your Q can be minions, can be jungle camps, can be enemy players executing them, which means like totally killing them with your Q alone resets the cooldown off of it. Also, an important thing to note is that you can dodge abilities with your Q, reason being is that when you queue to someone, Irelia actually goes behind them. So for example, dodging Riven's ult as shown here on the screen, or Camille's W and such things, you just gotta make sure you time it properly. Next up we have her W and that is Defiant Dance. Good thing with this ability is that it cannot be interrupted so as shown here on the screen even if for example Jax is trying to stun you, if you time your Defiant Dance right, it won't be interrupted. The thing with this is that it has two casts, first cast 
is while you're in place, like blades are spinning or whatever. What this does is it reduces the damage people do to you, so like incoming damage, it's like a damage reduction thing, something like Garen's W for example. And the second cast is just a range attack, the more you hold it the more damage it'll do. This is quite useful because it has a good synergy with Tiamat, which I'll explain later, that's like the first item you buy basically, because you can W the back wave and instantly Q them all, get your 3 stacks plus healing, it is very useful. Afterwards we have her E, which is Flawless Duet, this is her Stun, basically it's a skill shot with two casts, nothing crazy there. There is no limit to it, meaning you can stun anyone that is hit by it. It gives you a stack as any other ability would, which is pretty cool. Um, you pretty much have to be creative with this ability. It works so well as a level 2 power spike and it really catches people off guard. As I said, you have to be creative with it because most of people expect it. So, for example, you can place one blade in the bush and recasting it on the enemy, which they probably won't see coming, or you could queue to an enemy while well, you have your first cast of flawless duet down already the ability has timer to it and once the timer is done it will cast itself on the place where it really currently is so as i said if you queue someone you automatically get behind them and once you're behind them once the timer is done from flawless duet um you'll basically stun them because you're already behind them and last but not least we have irelia's ult vanguard's edgy <laughs> get it she's edgy Jesus, I need to stop. Anyway, I feel like I do not need to explain this. She throws a bunch of blades and they do damage and mark the enemy. And if the enemy tries to escape that Illuminati triangle, they get slowed. That's pretty much it. Now, it's good with her standard combo to try and ult the enemy when you have some stacks. At least that would be ideal. But this is how entire combo should look like. As you guys could see, first I threw my ult, then I queued, then I used my E, then I queued, then I used my W, then I queued. Of course, you can play around with it. There's this second thing where you don't use your W at all. Or you could start with your E, Q, ult, Q, and then another Q, but it's all around that style. I just want to take this time real quick and apologize for the fan. It is insanely hot here. I'm literally cooking on 30 degrees Celsius, and I'm honestly not enjoying life right now. <laughs> Anyway, if you've made it this far and you liked the video so far, I'd appreciate it a lot. If you could subscribe, there is much more League videos to come. Do not get discouraged when you see me uploading Fortnite. I do enjoy both of the games and it is what it is. I'm not going to stop uploading League. I'm going to keep making guides. If you do have any suggestions for the next guide, what champion would you like to see and learn to play? Um, leave it down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. To quickly explain the level 2 power spike I've been talking about, I don't know, at least in gold elo, no one expects it for some reason. And I tend to get first blood all the time thanks to it. The way you want to do it is you want to make sure you start your Q first. However, if the matchup is hard, let's say you're playing against Riven or Renekton, you do want to start your E, reason being is so you could farm at all. Anyway, first requirement is to start your Q. Make sure to Q last hit minions so you get your stacks. First wave will give you 90% XP till you get leveled up after you get one more minion from the second wave preferably a caster minion because they're easier to kill you'll get level 2 you want to instantly level up your E and use it right away as you have max stacks that'll mean you'll have two Q's on the enemy left it is preferable you queue them right away once you get the stun on them. And then you queue again as they try to flash away or escape. I apologize, I do not have many clips of me doing that right now. Any clips at all, sorry. Since I've deleted most of them. But yeah, I hope you get the point from what I've presented here. Anyway, this is Irelia's current build. What you want to start with ideally is Corrupting Pot. It will aid you in trading and in survivability in general. The trick is once you all in the enemy level 2 or you trade in general, you pop the pot so you do extra damage now we always want to build tiamat second reason being is that it helps so much with clearing waves and it has an amazing synergy with irelia's q next up what we want to get is our trinity force which is a standard item this is where we become a strong duelist after that we want to get sterex gauge which will help us enormously in the team fighting and all in 
Ideally afterwards if we decide to split push more we want to get our Titanic Hydra That's also the reason why we went for the Tiamat in the first place If they have a lot of AD based champions or assassins Guardians Angel would be nice for the third item Same goes for if their team is very AP heavy Wits End would be nice as a third item as well these are the runes you mainly want to go for, Inspiration 2nd for the better trading and more surprise element because of the tonic, it synergizes very well with your first item Corrupting Pot, so you'll most likely win a fight. However, you can choose to go Resolve if you're more about macro and split pushing and late game type of style, making yourself a lot more tank here. But Conqueror is the only keystone you want to go for, it's the only keystone she's using right now, so that is a must, everything else can be adjusted to your own likings. So that was it guys, hope you enjoyed, it was a pain to make this video, like honestly it was a pain. I've never experienced so many Sony Vegas crashes in my entire life, and my internet going crazy and everything, I hope it's worth it, I hope you learned something. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, um, I gotta, I gotta buy a new PC and, yeah, fix the internet. Jesus Christ, it's been horrible. Like, I actually had such a horrible time making this video. Oh my God. All right, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, you know, the standard YouTube stuff. Um, if you have any suggestions for the next video or the next champion in this guideline, comment down below. That's it. And if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna call the police, I'm serious. So, yeah, peace out.